Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I'm excited to be playing Doodle World, a brand new NES game that you can play on real hardware or your favorite NES emulator. This game was created by Nate Peters as he was trying to come up with an idea for a new NES game. He saw his daughter doodling some characters on notepad paper, and with this, Doodle World was born. I'll put a link to a free demo in the description below if you'd like to check this out. Also a link to the Kickstarter where you can back and receive a physical copy for your NES or if you'd like a digital copy for your favorite emulator. One last thing I'd like to mention is that Nate and his daughter did a $13,000 stretch goal and with this extra money they'll be purchasing video games and consoles for the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. It's an awesome thing to do for the patients there and we should all hashtag Nate Rocks to thank him for being so awesome. All right, thanks to Nate Peters for sending me a review copy. We got normal mode, we got kids mode, we're doing normal mode. Uh, Notepad Hills, I love the little cutscene. It reminds me of Kirby's Adventure. If you are curious about kids mode, apparently kids mode, uh, there's only eraser characters. There'll be some spiky characters in this mode, which makes the game a little harder. I think boss battles, he said, were a lot easier in kids mode as well. And you get more lives. So like, I don't think you'll see the pokey pencil guys in kids mode, maybe? Oh, the bonus stages are cool, so they're like... Like a black and white doodle, but the crayons, as most people call them. I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, I was always taught it was crayons. Box of crayons. And uh, apparently that's not right. When I moved to Ohio, they're like, crayons? What are crayons? They're crayons! They're crayons! So, I don't know. I say it wrong like everything else. But whatever you call them, you collect the crayon crayons. I kind of like collecting coins in Super Mario Brothers. This has a lot of similarities to Super Mario Brothers, which might be one reason I really like the game. Now, the bonus stage is obviously a bit different. We're not going into pipes, you know. But, we find these little notepad things. We go into these bonus areas. Uh, pretty cool. These are like stars, basically. The flashing crayons. Crayons? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I wish that wasn't one of those words that everyone said different. Ah, no! Ooh, hoo, hoo, good job. Do dodge, dodge, whatever. I meant dodge, but I said dodge. I just can't talk today. Let's be honest. Squash the dang eraser. Boom! To the notebook, end of the level. So the little things that remind me of Mario, for one, you can't go left once you've scrolled the screen right. Kind of reminds me of Super Mario Bros. 1 a little bit. You can squash some enemies, kind of like Mario. Don't jump on the spiky enemies, though. They will kill you. Don't want to die. So yeah, his daughter made this character as a little sketch, and he put that character into the game. I just think that's so cool. I love the look of the notepad background and how it scrolls. It just looks really, really unique. Like, someone could have said, Hey, have you played Doodle World, that new indie game on Steam? And I've been like, no. And I would have looked at this and been like, oh, this is cool. It looks like an NES game, kind of. But this, like, legit would run on a real NES. And that's what makes it so cool. Is that it kind of has that indie game retro... Like, <laughs> when indie games try to make retro games, it kind of has that feel to it. But no, this is the real deal. This is an NES game. That's what makes it so cool. My favorite video game system of all time, sometimes people ask me, it's the NES. So I love it. It was uh, made with the help of Nest Maker, which is a really cool program where uh, basically the program does most of the hard coding for you. Pretty much can do all of it to an extent, but to make a game like this, you're going to have to get your hands dirty a little bit. It's a really, really awesome program, though. Uh, definitely recommend checking out Nest Maker if you haven't. It's super cool. I'll be covering a bunch of Nest Maker games soon because they just did the Bite Off 2020, and there's like 20 or 30 games up. I'm guessing. I don't know. I I took a quick peek at it, but there's a bunch of new demos up. Games kind of like this, but you know they're not like this at all. Just NES modern NES games. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. All I know is that if you like the NES stuff. Look forward to that video because it's going to be really cool. We'll be seeing what everyone's been up to using this program to make cool games like this. I don't know. I'm just excited. <laughs> All right, cool. And the level. Squaw. Oh, missed the eraser. He can live, I guess. I like this music. The character design is perfect. We have all these different office supplies trying to kill us, basically, as we're a doodle, you know. The scissors could chop us up. The uh, tack could tack us to the wall. 
The eraser could erase us, which might be the worst thing that could happen. Oop! <laughs> Speaking of the eraser erasing us, we were off to a great start for a little bit. If you have played the old Mario games, especially Super Mario Bros. 1, uh, the physics aren't exactly like that, but if you hold the run button down, you do get a lot more momentum. Unlike Mario 1, when I play that, I pretty much hold run the whole time. This game, sometimes it does help to let go of run a little bit. See that? Ooh, that, that to me looks cheap. I think I won that fight, but what do I know? So sometimes it's a risk-reward kind of thing, jumping on enemies' heads, I guess. If you're slightly off, they can do some damage still, even on the safer enemies. I like the music to this cave area, it's really cool. Okay, nope, don't kill me please. Boom, you just got destroyed, scissors. What's up, eraser? Boom. We're taking out everybody. I want that crayon. Crayon crayon? Another cool thing to mention, uh, see how like the solid line here, there's some color on the outside? He actually added those coloring outside the lines mistakes just to give it that more of a doodled feel. You'll see it more and more on certain parts, like right here on this little flat, or I don't know what you call it, this like pole, this pink pole, there's colors spilling out, it looks really cool. Some spilling out here, but not here. Some variety, it just makes the environments feel like a piece of paper, it's just really well done. Boom. Boss fight! Woohoo! Boss fights are fun. Boom! Squash a giant eraser. Don't get hit by the things. What are they throwing at me? I don't want to get hit by that. Looks like a mushroom. Oh no, we're dead. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> don't die to the boss. Boom, one hit. Maybe not do the same exact thing we just did. Maybe we'll come over here. Boom. I think we're figuring this out. Go over here so they kind of shoot at me wrong boom five hits you're dead felt tip forest look at that there's gonna be wiggler looking rulers that's cool i'd really like to know if some of this was inspired by mario's stuff oh no thanks pokey pencil check out let's kill this ruler <laughs> these bushes look like little blobby guys winking at me i wonder if they're supposed to have the little wink look to them <laughs> i don't know it was just me they look like little uh, blobby guys winking i love it you're dead. Pencil guy, you're good to go. Bonus area, we need some extra lives. Oops, well, we uh, exited that. Doesn't that remind you of a Wiggler? That'd be really cool so if you jumped on the ruler, it got angry and like, came at you faster or something. <laughs> it definitely looks Wiggler inspired to me, but it might not be. It'd be a coincidence. I'm just curious to know. Nate's a super nice guy, so he always is up for answering questions and stuff. Just a good person. That's one reason I really wanted to show this game to everybody. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. But so far to me, this is just really fun platformer. Definitely has that retro vibe to it. Bam. Squash. Squash. Yep, bonus area. Cool. So it seems like a hundred crayon crayons. Gives you an extra life, which is good because our lives are getting a little low. Please don't kill me. Squash you. I don't think a pencil guy's killed us yet, though. That's pretty impressive. Usually we die to everything. Maybe we can one-shot this game. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll be a pro at Doodle World. This music's really peaceful. Kind of reminds me of the original song. Is it the same song? It might be. I don't know. Whoever made these, this music, uh, we'll have to check the credits at the end. They did a really good job because it, all the songs tie in together really well. And that's the key to having a good soundtrack. You know, having a little bit of a variety, but yet all the songs give the game the same kind of feel. Creating music for a video game can be pretty tricky. Pretty awesome. Ooh, that was clean and new. Don't put me pencil guy. Another boss, Lumberjack Eraser. It's a Lumberjack Eraser. He's awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Lumberjack Eraser. <laughs> Oh, I got killed by Lumberjack Eraser, no! All right, we're back, Lumberjack Eraser, you jerk. And I'm gonna kill you really, really fast now. You pretty much had it coming for being a jerk. You got a cool beard, I'll give you that, Lumberjack Eraser. Might be the best beard I've ever seen on an eraser, actually. Dry Erase Desert, let's do it. Was that a thermos? Ooh, this music's cool. It's 
kind of like the original song on the title screen, but it's uh, got a deserty vibe to it. That's what I'm talking about. Good music. Love the sprite work on this because it looks like doodles on a notebook paper. It's got all the perfect elements of a great, fun game. And one thing I really like about this game is it's not overly difficult. I don't mind challenging games, but sometimes it's just fun to play a game that's, you know, kind of casual. You can enjoy yourself. I think what would really make this game awesome is a co-op mode. I would be like, Lair, let's play some Doodle World, dude. And he'd be like, dude. Let's play some doodle, doodle World, dude. And that would be our whole conversation. <laughs> Seriously though, this game is just asking for some multiplayer. Would be fun. Make the game a little bit more tricky, I bet. In some ways it could make it easier. Maybe there's a way you could revive each other and stuff. That'd be cool. Maybe in Doodle World 2. We can only hope. This game definitely needs a sequel and I haven't even finished it yet. How you like that, Thermos guy? You got super crayoned. Well, this looks like a wedding cake. I'm actually really hungry. I just ordered uh, Bob Evans through DoorDash. I'm getting blueberry can- pa Pancakes! I'm dead. <laughs> I'm getting blueberry pancakes, though, so, you know. That's pretty good. Hey, I get to do the bonus again. Can I have an extra life? I got an extra life! Don't die again! It's kind of tricky how sometimes they go off the cliffs and sometimes they don't. I wonder if there's little hints in their color that let you know if they go off the sides or not. Maybe the ones... I don't know, I can't tell. I bet there's a trick to it. Like, he doesn't for some reason. Bonus room. Alright, we need a lot of crayon crayons. We're just gonna call them crayon crayons. Crayon crayons. Boom. About halfway to an extra life. We might need it, too. I think there's one more world. I think there's five worlds. Is this world four? I forget. <gasps> one thing I like about this, though, is the checkpoints are almost always pretty close to where you died. But as far as I understand, if you die, uh, there's no continues. So you definitely don't want to die. Okay, boss fight. I guess we just jump on his head like the others. Boom. <gasps> oh, he dynamited me, you jerk! Boom. Whoa, okay. Let him throw out a dynamite, then we'll jump on his head. Throw out a dynamite. Over here, please. You're just gonna keep throwing him left, are ya? He's unpredictable. Boom. It's like Wild West Eraser guy. He's got a cowboy hat. This is legit Wild West Cowboy Eraser guy. <laughs> King Eraser's Castle, the final world. This is so cool. I know black uh, notebook paper probably isn't a thing, but this would have looked really sweet with black notebook paper. But the thing I like is it's like the whole game's drawn on the same notepad. So I totally get why it's still got the white and blue line background. It still looks really cool. I really like that pencil sharpener dispenser. It's like a bullet bill launcher. I hope there's more of those because that looks cool. And I see another, please, tack, no thank you, scissors, die, please. There's one right there, woohoo! Oh, we can squash it good though, so that's one thing. Those are so cool. Pencil sharpener shooting out pencils. Well, look at that, we're like speedrunners all of a sudden. We're pros at this. We might be the best doodle world player, oops. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, we might be the best doodle world player ever, sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. The pencil dispenser. It's very bullet billish. And it might not have been inspired by Mario. I think I just play too much Mario, so I see Mario stuff in other games. This is a really solid platformer. The control is great. Music's great. I love the idea of the game. Notebook paper. Hand-drawn enemies. Hand-drawn lead character who just looks hilarious. I love it. <laughs> This is my kind of game. All right, I think we got one more. Oh! What? How is that fair? That's not fair at all, actually. Okay, squash a you. <gasps> oh man, we're getting really low on lives. We better get an extra live, live, life, life. Yes, life. New. Don't pencil me, pencil sharpener. 
Like, I know that's what you do is you sharpen pencils, but there's no need to spit them out at me like a jerk! 20 minutes later. Alright, I had to play back through... Pretty much the whole game. There's no continues for this. So, although the game's on the easy side, it's kind of got that Contra thing. Like, you get hit once and it's a big deal. That's one of your precious lives. I do feel like second time through, I've done a little bit better. We got six lives still. And we are going to beat this game. We just are. We're Doodle World Champions. We can do this. See that? Boom. Nope. Nice try, pencil sharpener. Nice try, scissors. Nice try, eraser. Hey, eraser's brother. Oh, you can jump on the... Oh, that's a lot like a bullet bill. Look at this. Boom. You can jump... Oh, <laughs> don't jump into the pencil sharpener. Don't jump into the eraser. Boom, a double. That's what they call a double. Boom. We're destroying these. <gasps> this is where we died last time. No. We, there's no way we screw this up again. We got this now. It's easy peasy. Doodle schneezy. Old trick. Kill you. <laughs> there we go. Boom. How you like of that? I think that's where we died last time. I can't remember. Took a while to get back here. The fact there's no continues, it makes it really get that old school NES game feel. You lose the game and it's like, guess what? You gotta start completely over. Boss fight! <gasps> we got three lives to figure this out. Oh, and we're dead. Oh no, we got two lives to figure this out. Alright, he's throwing magic at me. Ugh, jump on his head. Okay, okay, we got this. Come and get me. It's kind of like a Koopaling a little bit. Throwing some magic at me. Boom, onto your head. Alright, two more hits probably. One more hit, we got this guy. Easy peas. Uh oh. He's got more health. He might have double health. He's the final boss. That's six hits. Oh no, can we do this? Make sure bets in the comments. Woo hoo! I don't remember. Was that six or seven? I think three more hits. Two more hits. Oh, we missed him. That's not good. Three more hits or two more hits. I don't remember. Alright, probably two more. Alright, come on. Bring it on, Eraser King. Boom! One more hit. One more hit, you say? We did it! Woo hoo! Get the fancy rainbow crayon crayon crayon. Boom. You win! Doodle World is safe again! Woohoo! Design concepts from his daughter, Araceli? Is that how you say her name? I'm not sure how to say her name. That's a really cool name. Developer Nate Peters. We got music and sound effects from Takumi Granger. We got additional programming from Dale Coop. Dale Coop, he's like the nest maker help everybody out guy. He's a good dude. Benjamin Plinch. And we got a bunch of playtesters. Sweet! That was so fun. Once again, I really stress you should go check out the Kickstarter. Download the demo if you're curious to try it out. I recommend back in the game, get a physical copy, playing it on a real NES, or getting a digital copy, playing it in your favorite emulator. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you like to see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Join the BTG Discord and chat with me and a bunch of other cool people. Check out the BTG merch store. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.